Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, just ultra high humidity tonight, really the last several days, and that'll continue tomorrow. So that moisture is promoting the low clouds, the fog, the drizzle, even some uh, light rain showers this evening. Take a look outside and in Newport, you know, the visibility, there is fog. It's not quite as thick as this time last night, though. It will be dropping off quite a bit overnight and into early tomorrow morning. In the meantime, you're starting to see some fog banks uh, rolling in and low clouds across Eastern Beach. You see that the light southerly breeze coming in now off the uh, water as well. And this murkiness will spill over into tomorrow morning as well. So a very slow start. Really, I don't see much in the way of sunshine on Friday, especially during the morning. But even with the limited sun and the extra clouds today, we were able to get temperatures up in the upper 70s, even 80 in Taunton, uh, 79 in Providence, a lot of clouds. Every now and then there's a little bit of sun sneaking through, but for the most part, clouds winning out today. When we take a look at the visibility forecast starting off this evening and overnight, you see these low numbers right through early tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. in a slow burning off process. The fog gradually lifting uh, at least in inland areas. So by noontime, you see the visibility is improving, not perfect, but improving during the afternoon, but really kind of socked in pretty much all day long along the south shore. You know, the combination of a lot of moisture in the air and cool ocean water. It's not a great recipe as far as sunshine at the beaches. Scattered showers and drizzle showing up on uh, Doppler radar right now. This will continue right on through the overnight hours with some thunderstorms in central PA will stay away. This front across the upper Midwest is our next weather maker for Saturday. It'll take some time to get here, but by Saturday afternoon, it may spark a scattered shower or thunderstorm. I don't think Saturday is a washout, but the risk is there for a passing shower or thunderstorm. The front is separating the very humid air on one side. All this green shading represents high dew points in the 60s, meaning a lot of tropical moisture behind it. It dries out nicely and that drier, more comfortable air is headed our way the second half of the weekend. This evening and overnight, you see the scattered showers, drizzle and fog continues. Look at the temperature at 7 o'clock in the morning. It's close to 70, so a warm, humid start to the morning. Scattered showers, air Areas of fog and drizzle during the afternoon hours. I don't see as much in the way of precipitation. Wouldn't rule out a shower, but I think it's a little drier, meaning no rain during the afternoon, but the humidity is still high. Temperatures reaching the uh, 70s inland and 60s along the coastline. Once the sun sets tomorrow evening, we start the process all over again. Showers, drizzle and fog for later Friday night and into early, early Saturday morning. Tomorrow morning it's a damp and gray start with fog and drizzle by 11 o'clock in the morning, 69. And then during the afternoon hours, mid to upper 70s inland, 60s at the coastline. It's one of those more clouds than sun kind of days, uh, still kind of muggy and that tropical feel with the high humidity. So the beach is really not much in the way of sun. It's foggy and murky during the morning with the scattered showers likely. Seven day forecast. A few showers on Wednesday, uh, rather Saturday. Not a washout. Warm and humid at 78. Dry, refreshing, comfortable air. Low humidity on Sunday with sunshine and high temperatures. Seas will be warm like in Shannon at around uh, 73 degrees. But keeping the mugginess at least for the next couple of days. Yeah, the humid weather makes it feel like it's here in the middle of summertime. Yeah, it's sticky. So, all right. Thank all right. you, Tony. Coming up next.